learning more about the terrifying moments when a brother and sister were violently attacked in their own Sleepy Hollow home. This man, Fabian Torres, is being held in Kane County facing several charges right now. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe is live at the Kane County Judicial Center where investigators outlined exactly what happened. Mugo. Torres was charged with 26 criminal counts, and he could spend the rest of his life in prison if convicted on all counts. You're looking at a mugshot of 32-year-old Fabian Torres. Kane County State's Attorney Joe McMahon says what Torres did is one of the most horrific crimes he's ever encountered. He also had in his possession a black bag that contained rope, heavy-duty duct tape, pepper spray, bear repellent, and multiple items of a sexual nature. Police say Torres entered a home around 1235 on Monday. Once inside, they say he sexually assaulted a 19-year-old woman. When she tried to fight back, police say he stabbed her in the hands and calf. Torres is also accused of stabbing her brother in the face, neck, torso, and back of the head when he tried to protect his sister. The two were able to escape and run to a neighbor's house for help. Police say Torres then confronted another neighbor and tried to force her to drive him away from the scene, but she was able to get away from him. Sleepy Hollow Police Chief says the fact that the teens put up a fight is a big reason why they survived. I want to thank a 17-year-old brother who went to the aid of his sister without fear for his own safety. He's a hero. And I don't want to say to the residents of Sleepy Hollow, you still live in a very, very safe community with a very low crime rate. Police tell us Torres has a criminal history. He was arrested for attempt, attempted aggravated assault in 2011. He was recently released on parole in October of last year. As for this recent attack, authorities believe it was premeditated. They say Torres had bought all the items he needed for the crime earlier that day. Now, Torres' next court date is April 17th. He's being held without bail at the Kane County Jail. Live in Kane County, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.